Are you looking for a unique way to add some extra light and style to your home? In this video, I'll show you how to make a DIY wall sconce that can plug into an outlet so you can build a unique light fixture anywhere. I want to quickly note that I do link to all the supplies I use in the description below. And so we are going to start assembling this. Because this is a plug-in light, you do need to drill the hole to allow the plug wire to be inserted into the back of the canopy, which is the part that goes on the wall. So to do this, you're going to use a metal drill bit and you're going to drill a hole. And now we're ready to assemble the light with all the different pieces. Now don't feel overwhelmed. There's lots of little pieces and they all come together very easily. So the whole point of this is to thread this plug wire, this cord through everything. What you'll do first is take this straight cylinder and thread it into the five inch threaded pipe. After, you're gonna take the hollow nipple and thread it through the straight cylinder. From here, you'll insert the hollow nipple into the canopy and then put a washer, the star lock nut, and then end it with the hex nut. Make sure you use pliers to make this connection nice and tight. From here, you're gonna thread the cord wire through the hole that you pre-drilled and then through this main section of pipe and all the other attachments that you just installed. Next, you need to cut the cord, The it's the jacket on the cord, so this is the insulation, and you do it very carefully so you do not cut the wires underneath, and you're gonna cut about five inches off to make it easier to be able to feed these wires through the next part and attach it to the socket. Then you're gonna feed these wires through the friction swivel, making sure the male side of the swivel is going towards the pipe. After, you're gonna thread through the flat holder. This is how the cone will attach to the light and then the light socket cup. Now it's time to wire the light socket to the wire itself. I have already detached the top of the porcelain socket so that you can thread it through the wire. And then you're gonna take those wires and twist them so they're not frayed and you're going to attach them to the socket. Now there's two screws to do this, and so you're gonna put one on one side of the screw, and it doesn't matter which side you are wiring these to, and then the other to the other side. And here's a tip if you did not notice, those wires, you're gonna make them into a hook, so that way they'll hook around the screw, and they're gonna hook in the way that the screw screws down. So that way, as you're screwing it down, it will tighten the wire to the socket itself. Once the wires are tightened to the socket, you are going to get the top of the socket back down and screw it onto the socket itself, which is done through the inside of the socket. After you've tightened both of those screws, you are going to then pull the wiring down so that you can tighten the swivel onto the socket itself. After the swivel and the socket are fully attached, you will thread the wire back through the pipe so that way you can connect the pipe to the swivel.
after everything is attached together, you are ready to attach the shade to the flat holder using the screws. Now you might have to use pliers to be able to tighten these screws down to the, so the shade. And then you will be left with this ready to install it to the wall, which you will be using a swivel cross to attach it to the wall. And then from there, you might need to use some wall anchors, and then you're gonna thread some steel studs onto the cross bar, put the canopy through those steel studs, and then add the acorn nuts to hold it into place. And afterwards, you'll be left with some beautiful lights to light any area in your house.